To balance this equation, sulfuric acid plus sodium bicarbonate yields sodium sulfate plus water plus carbon dioxide. Let's count the atoms up on both sides. On the reactant side, we have two hydrogens here, plus we have one here. So we have a total of three hydrogen. Sulfurs, we just have the one. Oxygens, we have four, plus we have these three right here. So we have a total of seven oxygens, one sodium atom, and one carbon atom. Over on the product side, we have the two hydrogens. Sulfurs, we just have one. Oxygens, four, plus the one, plus the two. That's five, seven of those. Sodium, we have two, and carbons, we have one. So when we look at this, the sodiums, they're off, and then the hydrogens, those are off. So we need to figure out how to fix that. Let's try to fix these sodiums here first, because I could just put a coefficient of two in front of the sodium bicarbonate, and then I can update everything on this side. So I have one times two, that gives me two sodiums, which was the goal here to fix the sodiums. Hydrogens, let's update those, and we'll need to update the carbons and the oxygens as well. So for the hydrogens, we have our two, plus this one times the two, that's two. So we have four hydrogens, Sulfurs, we have one. Oxygens, we have the four, plus two times three is six. So now we have 10 oxygens. The sodiums, we said, were two. And then the carbons, we have the one carbon times the two. That gives us two carbons. All right, so now we fix the sodium, and that's caused the other things to be off. But sometimes that's okay. You have to kind of work through this. So why don't we take and try to fix the hydrogens here? So I'll put a two in front of the H2O. Now I have two times two, that equals four, and then I'll update these oxygens. For the oxygens, I have the four right here, plus one times two, that's two, plus the two right here. So I have a total of eight oxygens now. All right, well the sodiums, they're fine. Sulfurs are fine, hydrogens are fine. It's really the oxygens and the carbons. And I could put a two in front of the carbon dioxide and we can fix the carbon right away. So one times two, that equals two. And then we need to update our oxygens again. So for our oxygens, we have our four, plus we have our one times our two, that's two, plus two times two, that's four. And four plus two is six, plus four is 10. And it looks like everything is worked out for us here. So this is the balanced equation for H2SO4 plus NaHCO3 yields Na2SO4 plus H2O plus CO2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.